Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. In this video I wanted to go over my top 5 picks of the current mods out there because recently the modding community for Star Wars Battlefront has really exploded and there are tons of mods out there right now, mostly cosmetical ones but some that adjust the weapons and the gameplay as well. So I wanted to show you my top 5 picks right now although there are still tons of things out there that I won't cover in this video but before I get into that I just want to have a quick disclaimer that all of this footage and all the modding was recorded in offline skirmish so this is not something anyone has used online and besides I don't actually think it works online because it's only client side and so on and I will credit the actual mod creators and the people who made the videos while I get to each individual mod and leave links to all of them in the description below as well but now let's jump straight into it First of all I wanted to show you some footage from Clone Trooper 163 who both made the mod and recorded the video. He changed so that the DLT-19X, which is currently the only real sniper in Star Wars Battlefront, now looks like the DLT-20A, also known as the Pulse Cannon. He also swapped around the sound so it sounds like the Pulse Cannon firing as well. And I gotta admit that it really does feel more like a sniper after he did this. Unfortunately he wasn't able to swap out the actual bolts so they still look red. Otherwise it would have been a perfect sniper rifle and it really does feel more snipery than the DLT-19X does. However it would obviously be a little bit strange if the pulse cannon and the sniper was in the game at the same time. But maybe this could be something we will see in the next game as a sniper for the rebels or the imperials. Moving on we have a mod made by BG Games and recorded by Tech Geek Gaming. And this mod showcases the Kashyyyk Trooper and basically it's a scout trooper that he has put a skin on. And you might recognize this from episode 3 and the battle of Kashyyyk when Yoda is there helping out the Wookiees. Because we can see these clone troopers here with this particular armor and it does look very close to the scout trooper although I'm sure there's a couple of small changes but in the game with scout trooper plus this skin it really does look like the clones from episode 3 so I thought it was pretty cool with a mod that actually adjusted the game to look like something else from Star Wars because there are a lot of really strange mods out there that make shiny stormtroopers and red stormtroopers and all that kind of stuff but this one actually tried to mimic something from the movie. Next up we have a mod called Saigo made by Danger Cat and recorded by Tech Geek Gaming and this mod is actually kind of like an overall mod it changes a lot of weapons in the game as well as makes the AI better in skirmish both with how they play and also changing out some of their weapons although that is a little bit tricky to actually see in this gameplay but the main things I wanted to highlight was the weapon modifications. First of all we have the bow rifle which now has a two shot burst instead of the standard blaster that it has in the full game and it actually does more damage the further someone is away which is quite interesting. And the EE4 has now been changed to a rapid fire close range weapon so at longer ranges it won't do as well as it does in the full game. And lastly the one that I would really love to try out the TL50. It's now changed so that the main blaster is actually a shotgun. It sounds and looks like it's basically the CA87's blaster that has been put on the TL50 and the secondary fire now fires five mini concussion grenades instead of having one big blast. So this weapon has been completely remade and I think it looks really interesting. I would, I would have loved to see this in the live game just to get some change and I think that's kind of the main thing about all of these mods since we haven't gotten anything new for this game for eight or nine months now pretty much any change is fun to look at since we're not used to getting any new stuff for this game and next up we have Thrawn, made and recorded by Nico 2018 I gotta say that there has been a lot of Thrawn mods popping up uh, in the community so I'm not sure who was first but I liked Nico's version because he actually had blue hair and some of the other ones had black hair although Thrawn actually has dark blue hair in the Rebel series. So it's basically a skin on Krennic, it's the same outfit but they just changed around the colors of his eyes, skin, hair, outfit and all that kind of stuff and that's because I think it's not really possible to import new models into the game yet and besides making a model from scratch would be quite hard it's probably a lot easier to just add some new colors on Krennic but I thought it was pretty creative and nice to show in the video and lastly we have a mod from uninspired zebra the uh, the master of modding himself who was probably the first person who ever started modding this game even before the mod tools were out and he made a box mod or to be more specific a box star card and what this star card does is that it drops down a box in front of you that you can then use for cover and you can 
move around the box, put it to block off uplinks and all that kind of stuff. I thought this was a lot of fun because as I said, most of the other stuff was basically cosmetic or simple changes, but he added a brand new star card with a box. This would definitely not have worked in the full game because, well, it would have been able to be abused in very many ways. So it's definitely not a good star card that would ever have worked in the full game. However, it was a lot of fun to see him use it in skirmish. So well done on that uninspired zebra. But that brings this video of mods to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you want me to feature any other mods, uh, you can submit that through the link in the description below as I made a specific form for that. But I also want to disclaim again that technically, as DICE has responded, any mod is kind of a breach of the rules. However, they have always let stuff that only affects offline things uh, past, such as the cinematic tools, because that is technically also a hack, yet they still promote videos that use it. So I think that as long as the modding community sticks to only creating offline stuff showing off your skirmish, we should be fine. But if they ever come up with an update saying, no, the modding needs to stop now, um, then I will, of course, give you an update on that. But as long as I don't see anyone getting banned for doing offline mods, I will keep promoting this because I think it's quite fun to see some new stuff for the game. But that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, may the force be with you.